You know, I was one of these kids that just uh, pots and pans when I was a baby, you know? I just always loved the drums. I just took to the drums, so maybe they chose me. I don't know. I'm one of these weird guys that the reason why I wanted to become a studio musician is because I wanted to be heard and not seen. How well can I document this music? How, how truthful and, and, and in, integral of a statement can I make? It, it was all about the music. I, I didn't care about performing in that sense. I was, I wanted to, I wanted to, it was all about how does the music sound? I grew up in southwestern Pennsylvania. You know, I'm seeing these billboards on Sunset Strip for these records that I revered. And I'm thinking, this is the promised land. And, and then I found out about this Frank Zappa audition, and, and I just went up there, and it was sink or swim. I, I was ready for it. I, I, I knew the language, and I got him, you know? I got him because I got the whole concept of it, because I was a fan, and Which is important. I grokked it, you know? Yeah, like a solo based on seal calls and tiny yeah, percussion. Right, right, okay. Right. I've, I've been really, really blessed to be musically involved with many of my heroes, most of my heroes. Joni Mitchell, Shaka Khan, Sting, and Peter Gabriel. I had the great privilege of playing for um, President Obama's 50th birthday party in the White House with Herbie Hancock and Wayne Shorter. I mean, that's like saying I played on the moon. I made this album called Descent Into Madness for A-Tone Records. It was brought to me by my old friend, Steve Lindsay. One of the things that we did was we actually watched scenes from motion pictures like Hitchcock, important films that have some kind of drama and the, and the specific kind of content. And what would I do if I saw something like this? I love it. I absolutely love it, creating it, because I, I came to appreciate music in a, it, for, for its own intrinsic value. Okay, we just did this abstract drum piece that's completely out of time and free form with the idea that there will be some sort of dramatic visual element and, and you know, that accompanies it. You know, that's really cool.